Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you're coming back as a friend of mine, hello, thank you for coming back. I love ya. Um, we are going to view a couple of bags or boxes. They're out on the table in the dining room. We're gonna go out there. So one of them I know came from a day of yard sales with my Aunt Beth. So we're gonna go see what was in there because honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> I set aside the bag thinking that I would do a haul and it's been sitting there for quite some time. So we're gonna go check that out. And then underneath it is a box of things that I have picked up at the shops by the lake and there is something actually two things in there that I'm super excited to show you. Um, somebody was going out of business and had everything in their booth at 50% off. And I found these things and woo, I'm excited about them. I'm sure you've probably seen them already because they're probably in my thumbnail, <laughs> but I will share them with you and share the information and why I was so excited to find them. If you missed Tuesday's video and my announcements. Um, I will share Tuesday's video, by the way, up here and below. Um, it was a good unboxing from that estate, that gifted estate. Go check it out. Um, but I announced that I will be doing a sale with Pam from Kibi's Collectibles over on her channel on June 16th, which is a week from today, next Thursday. So 6 p.m. Eastern, it's a little bit earlier on the West Coast, but if you can make it, I will of course share the link. I would love for you to come over, subscribe to her channel, interact with us on that day, because that's my favorite part. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you then. All right, let's go over to the dining room to see what I have, and then stick around because I am going to do a shop along at a place called the Curiosity Shop. It is in Ashtabula, Ohio. It is in the mall. They have some wonderful things. It's the first time I've been there. They had uh, really great people working there. And me and my friend Julie went over. She's been looking for some furniture and for some things to decorate her new house. And I was excited because they had all these tables set up and it was buy one, get one free. So wait until you see what I found there. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, let's go to the dining room and then we'll do that shopping. All right, let's go. All right, we're in the dining room and I have the things. Everything in here came from some garage sales and yard sales on a day out with my aunt. So we're gonna check out these first and then I'm gonna show you what's in this box which is some amazing things that I found at the shops by the lake. And then, like I said, we're going to go shopping and I'm going to show you, um, we'll go back in the office, but I'll show you what I found at a place called the Curiosity Shop. All right. First, I picked up two in the box, Possible Dreams cloth teaks. These are cloth teak Santas. Keep an eye out for these. We sold quite a few of them this last Christmas and they sell well in our booth and on eBay. So this guy's cool. He doesn't have the traditional colors of Santa, which makes him really cool to me anyway. Um, but they will usually have a sticker like that or they'll have a tag, hang tag. But he's cool. And I will not be able to tell you what I paid for these things. There were $5 stickers on these boxes. But I know at this particular sale, I made a pile and negotiated this guy. Also cool. So the cloth teak is this kind of paper mache thing going on here. So we have two cloth teak Santas. Great for end of the year. This was at a different sale. <laughs> he got a little mushed, but look at this guy. Somebody made him. He is like a pipe cleaner turkey made from a pine cone. <laughs> He's pretty awesome. He needs a little zhuzhing, but look at how cute. I think he should be the spotlight in a little assemblage. Um, so I might have to do something with him. I found a little cabinet. Let me get them all out here little cabinet at this one guy's garage sale and he had a bunch of these little you know me and my miniatures 
So he had a bunch of these little things. He had three little colorful Tonala owls. Look at how cute they are. Tiny. And then he had three, these say made in Japan, but I've seen these labeled as Otagiri. He had a cat, an owl, and a duck. And one of these is broken. Oh, he's, he's broken on the bottom. But I thought one had been broken and repaired. Maybe it just was the cat that was broken. But cute little trio there. And then this pig. He said something about you could use this like dice. Like it was meant to be rolled in a game. I don't know. He's got a little tiny ding there. but And he's got a little butt. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have a little hole in his butt? <laughs> He's cute, right? Little clay pig. Oh, yes. Where I got the turkey, I got these things, too. This is just a nice old uh, knife tool. And then there was this guy who has babies. So they're not cracked or actually chipped. I remember when I found them, I ran my finger all over them thinking, oh, look at all the chips. Um, might be one right here. But they just need some touch-up paint. And then they'll be good to go. And they're so cute. This Santa also came from the sale where I got the Cloth Teak Santas. And he said made in Italy. I will share the information that I found about him but he seems to have a little bit of value. And he was only a dollar. Lots of Christmas stuff this time. I found this cool kind of crazy quilt stocking that somebody made. It's got corduroy on one side. It's got an old piece of lace here. Um, I don't know for sure how old it is. It could have just been made to look old. Um, but this does look a little moth eaten, <laughs> this section here. And I just love the look of it. I think that will sell pretty quickly over at the shop at Christmas time. It's got a primitive look to it. Oh, I forgot about these. So these are interesting. I was not able to find these. I thought maybe they were bone dishes, but they do not wrap around a plate. So my next thought is maybe they hold a few oysters because of that shell kind of shape. If anybody's seen anything like this, let me know but I picked up four of them and I thought they were very interesting. So if you've ever seen anything like this, let me know. There were no marks on them. The very first sale that we stopped at, I found this, which I think is super neat. Look at that. Has these like blue felt line drawers and they're so wonky and cool. Looks like a little Hobbit jewelry box, doesn't it? I found something like this at the flea market that we went to a few weeks back. I'll share a link to that here if you want to go check it out. Um, but people make these out of a hunk of wood and it's pretty talented. They're like jigsaw creations. But look at the back. It's neat, right? And I also got this at that same sale. He is a foo dog on a ball. Um, it just says he's Satsuma made in China. Um, I'll have to see if I can find anything like him. He's very ornamentally painted. Lots of hand painted little flowers and symbols. Um, and then all these little dots are what is called Moriage. It's all raised, textured. Um, he's in good shape. And he's holding this, I'm not sure what, some sort of baton or wand that's decorated with tassels. And here's his backside. He's neat. I wish there would have been two of them. These are usually found in a set. Um, but that's okay. I'll take the one. And I'll see if he's eBay material or if he's shop material. But he is very neat. So yeah, I got those from the same seller. In that same area, I got this, which is just a little 
ice tong with the chicken feet or <laughs> they're not really chicken feet but they look like little chicken claws and I've always wanted one of these a set of these these are nice and old and then I also got an entire bag of old silverware I've gone through some of it I do not believe that any of it is actual silver it's mostly silver plate However, there's some nice old pieces in here. And my favorite things were these beautiful twisted um, iced teaspoons. I've sold iced teaspoons before on eBay. They sold quickly. Um, and these are really fancy with the twisted. So they're a bit older. Um, I think I will go ahead and clean these up and list them. There were, I wanna say eight of them. Oh no, there's more than eight. There's a bunch. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's probably twelve. If I see another one, that means there's twelve. Yep, there's a dozen of them. So it's a nice big bundle. That right there was was nice. I think I paid three dollars for the whole bag. And then there was some other fun things in here, like this old spoon. Says Jean and Glenn. Not a tremendous value, but I'll share it with you. And then you can see a lot of these are just old. They're old. Might be fun to just display them in uh, an old um, canister or something. This is a fancy ladle here. It's got that really dark patina on it. I kind of like that. <laughs> anyway, got a whole bag of those. So I have to figure out what I want to do with those. Um, they may, like I said, go into some sort of rustic kind of container. And I may just sell them as a lot over at the shop. And then what else do we have? Oh, we stopped at a church sale. Things were very pricey, but I did find two pieces of ironwood. One is an owl. And one is a little eagle. And that was it for the garage sale day. Uh, did pretty good. If I had to guess, I'd say I spent maybe... I don't know, $30 on the day. All right, now these few things. I picked these up one day when I was working at the shops by the lake. So excited to see this guy because I have a really nice Tonala pottery collection and I only have one green piece and it's this little frog down here next to that cat toy. <laughs> Apparently that cat Tonala is playing with a cat toy. Um, but yeah, I don't have any other green pieces. So this was an exciting little find. Super well made. Beautiful little flower. Speaking of beautiful flowers, check this out. I have never seen anything like this. Somebody constructed these out of wood. A couple of them came off, but that's okay. They just slide right on. but definitely seems like a mid-century piece. It's very artsy, it's very cool. I love it. Very neat. I think it's just two more things in here, yeah. These are the most exciting things that I found. There are two of them. And they are made by Holt Howard. They're little pony planters very rare this one has a tiny bit of damage um it's not actual damage it's just on the cold paint because these are cold painted this one is about as close to perfect as you can get he's got a little dirt in him but look at his paint is really nice his nose is perfect i could not believe it she had her whole booth 50 percent off and she had 20 on these for the pair. So I got them for $10 and wait till you see what they're worth. I'm so excited about this find. 
Holt Howard, kitschy, anthropomorphic. Um, they tick all the boxes. So keep an eye out for anything marked Holt Howard. That's the Holt Howard uh, sticker, HH. Especially anything in their line that is kitschy. Uh, super exciting find. All right, let's go check out that curiosity shop and the things that I found over there. My friend Julie sent me this picture from their Facebook page. She said, we need to go there because I want these glasses that are up top. I said, okay, let's go. And when we got there, I spotted this piece immediately. These guys, I have one of these guys. And I always look for more and I rarely oh, yeah. see them, yeah. Now is that one of your personal collections? Yes, or, yeah. yes. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I have another one of these and I've only run into a couple more, um, usually at antique shops and usually not cheap. The last one I ran into was at uh, a nice little shop that I really wanna get back to, um, but it was missing the embellishments, so I passed on it. But look at her with all of her cute little embellishments. Um, I would love a whole collection of these. So when I spotted her, I knew right away that I was gonna be looking for another $5 item. I would have been happy with $5 for her, but $2.50 between her and the next item that I find. Um, yeah, let's go back and see what I found to make a freebie. Quite a bit of furniture, some books. And then all of these tables are marked. Five dollars, get one free. Buy one, get one free. That's cute. With the two little wrists. Gonna have to do some voiceover now because the music was building up and getting louder, and Papa was a Rolling Stone, and I was singing right along. These tables were great. They were full of stuff. Um, I like this little stack of plates here with the animals on it. Looked very, very cute. Um, this is a Stangle piece right here. Um, this piece on its own is not worth $5. And that, that was the, the mentality I had to have here is like, um, it's buy one, get one free. So they're also realizing that these things are selling for about $2.50. So, you know, here's the challenge. Here's the treasure hunt. Let's find things that are resellable at a 250. Um, this girl was cute. Uh, she was a mug, a hobbyist piece, but I liked the form and the shape on her. This is a piece by Fitz and Floyd. I've picked up these Paisley Park pieces. That was quite a mouthful in the past. <laughs> um, they're not worth all that much, 10 or $12 maybe on eBay. They're pretty and some of their pieces that have birds on them can go a little bit more. Saw right away this was a Hall, H-U-L-L, -L, pottery piece. This is their art pottery. They had 15 on that and that was a good collector's price, but not good for resale. And these pieces were very pretty. Nippon means that they are antique little shakers. Um, this down here I loved. This was uh, a hair receiver. So yeah, um, in Victorian times, women actually put their hair in there and used it to make things with. Uh, $10 on that was also a good price if, you know, if I was collecting um, and if I had another thing for $10, <laughs> which I do run into another thing for $10 that maybe I could have picked both those things up. Um, they would have been five each, but the hair receivers, they don't really go for a lot of money. This was a neat looking pottery piece. But it was unsigned and it was missing a lid. You can see the lip in there. I passed on that one. These mugs down here look like they could be Otagiri. And a set of five was a good set. This I found very intriguing. I think maybe it's a flower frog. Um, it's a hobbyist piece. Has a very cool look to it, but I'm guessing that that's the intent of it is that it works as a flower frog. This I thought for a second might be Czech pottery, but it's just a made in Japan piece. And I'm looking right now at that that framed 
um, piece. It was kind of cool. There were a lot of kind of cool things here, but you know me, I'm, lo I'm looking for the best of the best. And I think I found it. This piece, this is a best of the best piece. Now, I don't know much about this. I swear I've seen this mark before. I just absolutely fell in love with the color, texture, the model glaze, and yeah, for $2.50, this is definitely going into my collection. Oh, I love this piece so much. And I know, I know that I have found a piece like this with this mark on it. It looks like a T and a swirl like an E. I need to figure this out. I've been looking, spending too much time on the research to try and find this piece. Um, but I know that I've run into that same signature before. Um, I will find it. <laughs> but this bowl is in this most beautiful mottled teal color. I love it, everything about it. It's so whimsical. It's the color, it's the shape, it's the feel. Um, yeah, I will figure out who this is. I will. Um, it might not be by the time I get this video up, but I will figure out who it is. And it is staying in my collection. I don't have anything like this. It reminds me so much of a Van Briggle in its quality and the mottled glaze. Um, so pretty and I'm so happy that I found it and I paid five dollars oh wait I got another one free so I only paid 250 and that's amazing all right I'm gonna do a freeze frame or a slow motion part right here <laughs> there are some teacup holders display holders in here that I grabbed and I needed both hands so <laughs> you can kind of see them down in there I grabbed them I was so glad that they had these priced separately and that I could just buy the little stands. I have teacups to sell and so these are going to go right over to the shop. I don't know if I will put price stickers on them or if I will put not for sale stickers on them so that I can display multiple tea cups and saucers at any given time. And because I bought four of them, that made them $10 for the four, $2.50 a piece. And that is a wonderful price. Um, now you'll get to see how beautiful these will look when I take them over to the shop. This is a Royal Dalton. Here's the mark. This one is also artist signed by P. Kernak. And it is gorgeous. It has this thistle. Um, green and purple are such awesome complementary colors. So isn't that gorgeous? I think a display like this is really going to help sell some of the cups and saucers that I have found. Um, I found them in the bins, in the Akron Goodwill bins. If you did not see that video, I will connect it up here and down below and you can go check it out. It was uh, quite a day <laughs> of the bins because I also found some like 40 pounds of glass, a lot of milk glass. Um, so go check that one out. It was really cool, but beautiful, huh? So neat. Um, I've never been into teacups and saucers, but just recently um, they're catching my eye. Now, I didn't see any other sets there that were of interest, but this one, beautiful, $2.50. And that's awesome. This one will go over to the booth with the rest of the cups and saucers that I plan on selling there. So if you've been keeping count, you may realize that I need one more thing to keep it even. So one more item puts me at $20. That piece was a nice mid-century modern coffee piece. These pieces are left in. They had $10 each on these and they just don't, uh, they just aren't valuable. So I left these, but I just wanted to check them out. I've seen a lot of those pieces. Pointing out that big jar there because, man, that would have been a cool thing if it had a lid, but it doesn't. These all are Ellie Smith Moon and Stars pieces. Um, these candlesticks really made me wonder if I should get a couple of $10 items because they were honoring that. If you bought something that was $10, they were giving you a $10 free, which was also a great deal. This piece was flashed, so I left that. 
This piece over here is a Lennox. Um, not so much a fan. <laughs> I pointed at those. I said, I might be back for those. And as I'm looking at the rest of the footage here, I'm realizing that I don't think I captured my final find. But of course, I'm going to show you what it is. But we're going to take a look at a few more things here. Look at this pretty painted lady. She also looked like a hobbyist piece. Um, she was very beautiful, but damaged um, in a couple of spots. So I passed on her. Here's a fancy lady. She also seems to be a hobbyist piece. Um, maybe, maybe not. But definitely not worth the $10. I saw these soapstone pieces back here. Uh, we run into quite a few of these out at the thrift stores. Um, some of them can have some value, but there's no resale there for 15 I love the look of this tin. It is made by a company that I had never seen before, Smith Crafted uh, Chicago. But it, too, had some damage on it. I ended up passing. Um, let's go see that final piece that I found. Nice, heavy, quality piece of glass. This is... Fostoria coin glass, obviously easy to remember because it has these kind of pressed in coins all the way around it, both on the base and on the lid. This is a nice compote or candy dish and it is in beautiful condition. Usually if you find some cracks and chips, they're going to be around the lid and the lip here where people kind of slam down. Um, the two together but great little piece and for five dollars actually for 250 wonderful deal and that my friends is all the things the haul from the yard sales um and the curiosity shop cool place if you're in the area anywhere in or around ashtabula county lots of places to thrift and antique around there um this is one of them go check them out like i said they're right inside the mall go into the main food court and they're like right there <laughs> um but yeah great people working there and it was a fun stop in that is it i am so happy that you joined me this evening thank you so much i love you if you're hanging out um if you are here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for just do it <laughs> hit the subscribe hit the little bell set the alert to all so that you know when i put up a new video happens a couple of times a week um and while you're clicking around down there click a like or a dislike don't care and then do me a favor leave me a comment i love to read comments and i do reply to all of them so definitely say hello um, and the best thing you can do is share out my channel share out this video or another one that you liked um, tell people that you're watching someone who likes to do what we do, um, thrift and treasure hunt and shares all the things, um, including all the prices and information about them. So share me out like that because then we can continue to grow our little Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everybody, it is Thursday. I will see you next week with a two-part Goodwill shop along. We're going to start it on Tuesday. And then remember, I have that sale with Pam um, keep these collectibles on Thursday, but I'm still going to come back on Thursday night with that second part on the Goodwill shop along. So if you're up for it, <laughs> you can hang out with me all night next Thursday night. All right, everybody. I will see you on Tuesday until then have a wonderful weekend. Do something fun. Please be safe. I will see you then. All right. Bye.